Wow. <laughs> so I broke a promise again. All right. Uh, from now on, no more promises. I'm like really exhausted of having to apologize every time I start a video. So this time, guys, I, I'm not going to say see you next week because I might not see you next week, you know? All right, cool. So now that that's out of the way, let's actually get to this video. All right, so let's do a story time. My, what am I doing with my hands? I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. What do you do with your hands? So let's talk about two times I failed in life. It's two stories for one video. Cool. All right, so the first story is about how I failed my permit test. Uh, actually, it's about the time before I failed my permit test. My failing of the permit test isn't about this video. It's the time before. All right, cool. Let's do this. <laughs> so it was about January last year. Holy crap, it's been a year since this. So my parents and little brothers went out of town, so it was just the three older kids. So I was studying for my permit test, and I was like, all right, boom, I could do this. Let's go. Let's do it. I grabbed my driver's handbook. I grabbed my phone, and I grabbed my birth certificate. So I told my brother, Tony, I was like, yo, let's go. Let's ride. But we all go. And my brother, Tony, he's like, all right, I'm going to sit down. You do the paperwork stuff. You get in line. And if you've gone to the DMV, the lines are pretty long, so I would understand why he waited. But this time, it wasn't that long. It was like three people in front of me. No biggie. So I got up to like window number five, and there was this old guy. He was really old. He was pretty much on the heavier side. And like he had a beard. He had this Lakers lanyard on. And he had this Lakers shirt on too. So I'm not an expert detective here, but I think he's into the Lakers. <laughs> All right, so back to the story. So I go up to the window with my papers and everything. And then he goes like, all right, what are you here for? So I'm hesitating. I'm like, I, I want to take my permit test. I get really nervous from brother adults, especially adults who work for the government. He's like, can I see your paperwork, please? I have them all ready. I'm like, yo, you can see my paperwork. Bam, I toss it on the thing. Well, I didn't really toss it. I just take it out of its little sleeve that I keep it in and folder, and I give it to him. So he grabs my paperwork. I then have to show him an ID. I don't have a driver's license, obviously. So I give him my school ID. And so then I give it to him, paperwork in one hand, school ID in the other. And then he looks at my ID and he looks at me and he's like, all right. And then he looks at my birth certificate. He tries to match up the name and, you know, the birthday. And he's like, all right. So after he looks through the papers, he looks at me. He's like, where's your proof of residency? Then I'm like, uh, all right. So I didn't know what he was talking about. He knew that I didn't know what I was talking about. And he knows that I'm just a failure in life. So then he's like, did you come alone today or do you have an adult with you? I was so disappointed in myself and I was like, yeah, my brother came with me. And he's like, can you point him out to me? So I point and then as I look, I notice him, my brother, chilling back, playing a video game. <laughs> then he looks at him too. Then he looks at me and I look back at him and he's like, oh, is he the guy playing the video game? I'm like, yep. And he, then he looks back at him he's like, He's the guy whose feet are on my chairs. I'm like, what do you mean on your chairs? First of all, I first thought I was getting pranked. I, I literally thought I was on a get pranked show. Like I was looking for the cameras. So then he, he just looks at me and he's already looking pissed. He's like, bring him over here. And so I leave my paperwork there. I walk over there. And so then I told him that he needs to go over there to the guy and talk to him because he wants to speak to an adult. He closes his game and then he goes to the window and then the old guy tells us what we need and what paperwork we needed and so then we're like all right cool and so then we leave and I wasn't able to take my permit test that day. Story number two how I failed my first drive-in test. So I took this test on October 11th, my birthday. And keep in mind, I've had my permit for like six months and my parents have been letting me drive for like that amount of time. And my dad's been teaching me since I was 15. My birthday comes around, it's an early morning. We do the same routine. My mom's in the passenger seat, I'm in the driver's seat. We drop off my brothers from school. I'm doing good, I'm still a little nervous, but it's all good. Then we make it in time for my appointment. 
once we got to the DMV, there was a lot of people taking their driving test. I was like, holy poop. So I'm not a big, like, hands-on test guy. I get really nervous when it's something, like, hands-on. So we're waiting in line to get our driving instructor, driving tester, driving instructor. I don't know what you call this guy. I guess he would be an instructor, right? He instructs, but he gives you a test. Who cares? So then this guy, I see him with, like, a stack of paperwork. I don't know if that's from that week. Or if it's just from that morning. So I'm already nervous. And we get outside. We pull the car in to the DMV's like testing area. Then he tests me on like the blinkers and all that. And everything. He sees if the car works. Then he puts on his seatbelt. After getting inside the car. He tells me this speech like. Oh yeah. This. This. And that. Protocols say this. Alright. You have any questions? And I was like. Uh. No, I'm good, even though I did have some questions. I started the car. I drove off into the street. So every time he, like, scribbled onto his paper, it made me even more nervous because I knew, fudge, I failed something. I did something wrong, you know? I turned into this street, and we're going, like, 40 miles per hour. Or you're supposed to be going 40 miles per hour. I'm really nervous. I'm, like, going 35. So he notices that and then he starts writing, but that's not the bad part. So we got a lot of traffic signals on this street. As I was driving, the light was green. I was like pretty far from the light. I was going too slow to even catch up to the light. And so once it turned yellow, I was like, oh my God, it turned yellow. What do I do? And then I just subconsciously start braking and I stop. And where our passenger seat and driver's seat, that area, stops on the crosswalk. And the hood of the car is in the intersection. Then the light turns red in one second. This is what happened in one second. Car honks. The guy, my instructor, tells me to go, go. And I, under my breath, start saying, I'm sorry, and start driving off. So we go back. And after that big failure, I started driving normally again. I wasn't nervous anymore. I was like, hey, I've already failed. Nothing nothing else is going to matter. So let's just get us home safe, I guess. Or to the DMV safe. Uh, so then he's like, all right, just right, you can try again tomorrow if you want. And I was like, hell no. And I took the test in December again. Exactly two months. I took it on December 11th and I passed it and now I'm good. Cool. This video is already like 25 minutes long. I don't, it's not going to be 25 minutes long when I edit it. Hopefully it's barely only 10. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. All right. See you guys in the next video. Most likely not going to be next week. Maybe two weeks later. Who knows? I don't know. What do I look like? The content creator? Oh yeah, that, I am the content creator. All right, bye. <laughs>